Guys, this fight is ridiculous. It really is. The first phase is fairly easy. Second phase, pretty dang tough. And he takes a crap ton of damage. I don't know. I can't get past the second phase. So I don't know if there's more to it. If I'm missing something. The first phase is fairly easy. That's it, basically. Like, he's gonna do this, which you can't harm him in that I know of. If you get hit by that one time, it's pretty much gonna hit you every time. Okay, they just bounce off. He stands there like... He's all that in a bag of chips, and you parry him. Shoot him. Can't do anything, he's gonna summon a big ball. Power bomb it. Right. Another big ball. Power bomb that one. We're gonna get close, and then we're gonna back off because he's gonna attack. Now he's gonna go for that, and you can parry him. And this should bring us into phase two. In phase two, he's got that. And this is one of the most annoying. I keep getting hit by that for some reason. You can dodge under that or slide under that. duck, I mean. He does this a lot if you mess up your jumps, your hose. I'll do that in the air every once in a while. That one's easy to dodge. I don't know why I stood there and let him shoot me. go with this again. I got him into phase three. Nice. Now you ain't got no wings, sucker. What do you think of that? Oh, we're gonna rip the other one off? Holy crap. Okay. Now what? Oh my gosh. Okay. far enough away to dodge that, but I guess not. Okay. Oh my gosh. Just die, you jerk! Die! I don't know why he doesn't. Ow! 
Blow that up. Quick. Ow. Oh. Did you truly believe you could defeat me? You overestimate yourself. You no longer serve any purpose. Even your Metroid DNA is no longer necessary. Do you want to know why? It is because I can now clone an army of the most powerful Metroids of all. Samus Aran. No one can stand in my way, not even you. Foolish daughter, leave the galaxy to me. Close your eyes and rest. Power is everywhere. Holy crap! Dang, that was crazy. Whoa, dude, that's awesome looking. Dude, her armor is freaking awesome looking. Oh, snap. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, I think I have to go there. Holy 
Holy crap, this is awesome! Look at that beam, dude! Want some? Um, I don't. How do I get in there? Oh, I need to go to the left. the heck <laughs> fly me out of here dude <laughs> get me out What? Come on, really? <laughs> well, there's Metroid Dread. Um, for the first Metroid in how many years? It's been a long time now. I can't remember. Um, this was really good. It's uh, definitely a Metroid game, so prepare to get frustrated, get uh, lost not know where to go. Uh, some of the boss fights are pretty challenging. The fact is a lot of the boss fights are pretty rough. Um, as far as the rest of it goes, the, uh, the game is really good. So um, Power-ups were good. It's a Metroid game, so the level design has always been kind of excellent. You know, um, I liked it. The Like I said, the boss fights, they can be pretty frustrating and running from the Emmy can also be frustrating trying to figure out where exactly to go um, especially in some of the later enemy zones where they get special abilities and stuff but I mean if you like these types of games then try it out if not it can be pretty rough and challenging um, the like I said the, the end fight once you get to know the fight and I guess that's kind of the same thing with all of them once you get to know the fight and able to dodge um, it's not too bad, right? But it's just learning it. And what I wish they would have done is made it so that you start at the terminal right before the fight and you can just skip it rather than having to get on the elevator and go up. Um, as far as like, that's really the only issue I had with it is it can be very cryptic at what you're supposed to be doing. Um, it doesn't hold your hand for sure. Um, and it can just be kind of a, a it's a definitely a learning clever it's almost like Dark Souls where you gotta learn the boss's patterns 
and then adapt and overcome. And in, to that sense, it's fun, but it's also frustrating. So if you're not into challenges, I don't recommend it. Um, for me, I thought it was great, and I am probably going to give it... I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I'm not going to give it a 10, mostly because of difficulty, and it is a little bit confusing on uh, some of the power-ups, what they do, like the cross beam or the cross bomb. That one was like, I did three episodes, so an hour and a half that I recorded of me running around trying to figure out where to go after, cause I, like I did that and then I couldn't figure out how to get out of the that room with the cross bomb. So I started over and recorded three episodes. So an hour and a half of recordings. That's not counting the, the time I spent not recording, trying to figure out where to go on my own. Um, and then I eventually, I think I looked it up, how to get out of there, and um, then I realized I was stupid and the thing propels you, so give it an 8.5 out of 10, just because of those two things. It's difficult, it's, it doesn't tell you exactly what every ability does, and it doesn't give you a clear uh, path of where you need to actually go. So, it could be a little bit better on that. Um, even if it's just like a matter of lighting up one little area on the map Bing. that tells you you have to make it up here somehow that way you kind of have a, a direction where you're going whether it be up and to the right left down whatever but that's going to be it we're going to skip to the end here maybe and see if there's any extra after the credits oh it should tell me my score maybe The graphics are fine for Switch too, so, you know, I don't see a problem with any of their graphics. It take me nine hours. So, uh, graphics, audio, good. Um, story was good on it. I like the story. I didn't see the twist coming at the end. Um, Metroid Zero Mission, what's that all about? Yeah, that's the first game. Hard mode unlocked. I don't even want to attempt it. Is that it? So why did it show Metroid Zero Mission there? I'm confused. Anyway guys, that's Metroid Dread. Uh, like I said, these will be out in time for me to start Horizon. I might start uh, back up with some of the other series that I've left off the table. Um, I have faster internet. I can upload videos a lot faster now. And uh, so I can actually do something. That was the kind of thing. Like it's, it gets tiring, like waiting two and a half hours for one video to upload. So um, my computer basically has to be on 24 seven with the old internet. So now we should be able to go a lot better. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button for me. It helps my channel out. Consider subscribing if you're not subscribed. Hit the bell icon if you guys are subscribed. And until the next one, I'll catch you all later.